Hey Pisces, Yana Speaks here, and in this video, I'm doing a love reading uh, for your sign, and this is for uh, mid-June, mid-June, mid-July 2019. Um, I've decided if I let you know that all of my readings are general, so they may or may not resonate with you, because not every single Pisces is going through the same exact thing, obviously. If you'd like to book a prior reading with me, all the information to do that is in the description below, and if you'd like to join my free Facebook group, all the information to do that is in the description below. So, let's get started. Um, I'm going to start off by asking Spirit Guides, like, what important messages do you guys need to hear this month? We have codependencies. Uh, so, addictions are affecting your romantic life. We have getting to know each other as you reveal your inner most selves to each other your bond deepens and then we have wedding this situation involves a wedding so i definitely am picking up um that you guys are in a situation where it's very you know a lot of codependencies so you know it could be a bit toxic because you guys are very addicted to one another um i'm also picking up that some of you may already be married some of you may be wanting to marry this person but i feel like your spirit guides are saying that you need to get to know each other a little bit better a little bit better and a little bit more before you really make a decision to really attach yourself to this person because it's it's like you're already addicted to them they already i feel addicted to you so let's see what's the overall energy so what is the overall energy for pisces this month what is Pisces overall energy this month? What is Pisces overall energy this month? Like, they got that devil card. We talked about codependency. So, right off the bat, your, your uh, overall energy is the two of wands and the two of pentacles. So, for some of you, you may actually be juggling two people. This could be vice versa. This person could be juggling you and somebody else. But if not, what I'm seeing here is like, you guys are kind of like planning for the future. And it's like, you're dealing with someone, right? <clears throat> and I feel like you, you really love them and you care for them. But at the same time, you kind of wonder like, is is this it it's kind of like you may be feeling like is the grass green on the other side like should i really like just be with this one person or should i be with other you know people you're like really in like planning mode this this uh month okay sorry about that um that's what i'm seeing here it's like you guys are really planning and it's like a lot of like in you in your head and like trying to figure out like what's the best path to take what's the best course of action to take with this person i feel like you juggle a lot when it comes to this person it's like you juggle with how you feel a lot you know you're very up and down when it comes to your feelings towards them sometimes you feel like y'all could build something solid other times you feel like you can't um I feel like also too you juggle a lot as far as like the relationship goes or the connection because this person may rely on you a lot or they may put a lot of responsibilities on you. So I just feel like you really just don't know what to really do with this person. Now I do see that you want this person to commit and this person you may be feeling like they're taking a long time to actually do it. You may feel like they're dragging their feet to do it and it's kind of like frustrating you and it's kind of leaving you feeling a bit heartbroken. Um, what I'm getting here is like this person may even tell you like, you know, ain't nobody going to rush me to do anything I don't want to do. I'm going to do it when I'm ready. Like anytime you bring up that conversation with them, it's like they give you this like this attitude. Okay. And you're very heartbroken by it. And I feel like with the tower reverse and the devil being here, it's like almost like you're trying to avoid a disaster. It's almost like you're trying to avoid what you feel is going to happen, which is like you feel like this person not really going to commit and you're trying to avoid that. And I feel like you're trying to avoid that because with the devil being here, you are addicted to this person. There is codependency in this relationship. And that's why your spirit guides were saying earlier that you really need to like 
take your time to really get to know this person because a lot of times when someone doesn't want to commit to you it's like you think that you really want this person but it's not it's like really your ego getting in the way and you know if you really got to know this person you may even realize that you really don't want them to commit you may realize that you don't really want to be with them so I feel like your ego is really getting in the way but I, I, I sense that you kind of see that though okay so let's see how they're feeling about you so how's this person feeling about the Pisces how's this person feel about the Pisces Okay, so at times they they want to move on. And I feel that they want to move on at times because they feel somewhat pressured by you, right? I'm not saying that they're, they're, they're like, I need to get away from this person. And they would be like totally happy to get away from you. They would be emotional about it. But they, they, they in their mind right now, they're like, they need to move on. But... And I pull that devil for you and I pull that codependency here earlier. They are still drawn to you. They are still very much so attracted to you. They are still very much so kind of under your web in a way. You know, there's something about you that they just can't quite put their hands on that they like. Okay, but they do, they're, they are at that point where they do want to move on though. They think like it's the best idea to move on. But if they had to move on, they wouldn't be happy about it, right? I do feel though, at in the end though, they will. They may they may go ahead and move on, but I feel like they will return. And this person will return because it's like for for some it's it's interesting because. I feel like the issue here is that you want them to commit and they they do want to commit but they're gonna take a while to do it you know they're gonna do it slowly they're not gonna be like rushed into doing it and they just want to make sure it's the right decision and i'm pulling it's like once they kind of like move on and take like a little time out from you it's like they'll start to think more clearly and they will kind of view you as someone that does bring like balance and peace into their lives. And they I feel like they're they're going to commit, but it will take some time. I feel like also to a part of the reason why they might take a while to commit to you is because of financial reasons. I feel like they're kind of like waiting on something financially, like a new financial opportunity. So this person may feel like, how can I really commit to someone? How can I really give to them? if i'm waiting on trying to get my stability in order whatever they're waiting for i feel like it will come to them though um whatever this new financial opportunity is they may have to move to get this new financial opportunity um but this person does feel like they have invested in you so i don't feel like this is a new person and i feel like ultimately like i said if they move on from you they will return and they will try to have a new start with you Okay, so, you know, if you can be patient, I do see commitment here. Okay, so I'm going to ask your spirit guides what they think you should do. Spirit guides, please tell me what, you sh what they should do. What should the Pisces do? Yeah, they're gonna commit guys um your spirit guys is saying that you need to kind of chill the fuck out right and they're saying that you need to put like less energy into this person you need to kind of like understand that this person is a bit immature and you need to like kind of be like them like not be immature but like not put so much into them and you need to kind of Take on the energy of someone who feels like they don't need nobody. Someone who is very in, uh, very secure in their own skin. Someone who is stable and really just does not care if they have anybody or not. And this will make you more attractive to them if you take on this type of energy. And 
you know, your spirit guides are saying that it is okay to love this person. Um, it is okay to care about them, but you do need to love yourself first. Your spirit guides are acknowledging that you have a lot to offer, that you are very stable, that this person will offer you stability. There will be clarity between the both of y'all. And this person, like I said, they will return and they will be, you know, telling you sweet nothings. They will be trying to seduce you back. I just feel like the issue with this person is that they want to get their stability in order. They don't feel like they could give to someone if their stability is not intact, which makes sense. You know, um, and you kind of need to respect that. Allow this person to grow in in their own right and that will bring you the commitment that you want from them so anyways uh pisces i'm gonna end this reading here i hope you found it helpful if you did please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and if you would like to book a private reading with me or join my free facebook group all the information to do that is in the description below and i'll see you guys in the next reading bye